anything that you've ever done that has been so-called miraculous is going to be marked off as a wives' tale or folklore. All right, even Stan Lee, the, the the one who sat there and um put out like the X Men and all these things, these movies that you're watching, the X Men and stuff like that, said that he got his powers, the powers and stuff that he uses in the comic books from African and Native American folklore, which is our actual history. But they want to sit there and tell you that it's folklore, you know, or spookism. Spookism. Right. That's what they want you. I mean, come on now, like. I can tell you personally, I, I don't even, like, like I can't even tell you what happened. I've been in cuffs and shackles, and they tried to throw me down the stairs head first, and I don't know how I stayed on my feet, but I did for some reason. So there's some shit that's up. I mean, I don't know, because uh, they, they did it twice. I mean, I was in Walpole Prison, and they, they had me in cuffs and shackles, and they stepped on the shackles and threw me forward, and I stayed on my feet. How the fuck does that happen? Guardians. That's why they're going after the youth. One of the one of my uh, listeners was letting me know. She sent me a string of uh, articles to share with the listeners, and you know I've been on mute a lot of the a lot of the call. But uh, in New Jersey, they're um, passing leg legislation where the school district is getting ready to start doing random drug and alcohol tests on the students in the schools. It's like, what the hell for? Oh, see, they go that, after them young because the grown-ups won't wake the hell up. Huh? Have you right? Have you seen this um this call this this card thing where they give these children and this is connected? They get this um for for their lunch card. They give them this card that has like a, a chip in it, and that chip is going to track wherever they are. Not even just in the school, but wherever they are, they are required to carry this chip. It's, it's a step on um, below the FID chip, and it, it is um you don't tell you that it's two way frequency. It reads the energy around it too. You get what I'm saying? So it's like they can sit there and be able to pinpoint if anything there's a spike in your energy or something like that. And people think that this shit is like science fiction. Some of this science fiction is science fact, and not to go yeah, too far. So not to go too far off the wall. They even got this joint where this in there, and they're um they're gonna make it so that you have to have the iris print. The iris They've already print. done that. They already started I mean, that with the schools, you know that. That's what, what Empress T was trying to get me to share earlier, and I was so disoriented from being out of the loop, I couldn't even remember what the hell to say. But uh, I forget what school district it was. There was a school district that sent, uh, they did iris scanning on all of the children from elementary, middle school, and high school. They had 100% participation, no opt-outs, and they let a private corporation come to the campuses uh, and Iris scanned these students without their parents' knowledge on the 20th. They sent out notification about it on the 24th after the fact, after it was done, and the parents didn't get it until like the 26th or something like that because uh, I guess the notice went out on maybe a Friday. I think Monday was like the Memorial Day holiday, so they didn't get the shit until the Tuesday, and by the time they got it, it was already done. Well, how do you know that what they've done is not going to down the road cause your child to have uh, visual acuity problems or color blindness or real blindness. Who, who, who's to say? You let a private corporation come into a public school district and iris scan every student and say, well, these are going to be the new IDs for the safety of the child. It's not even safe for your child when the school won't even let you know what they're doing with your child without your permission. So them closing but, down the schools in our neighborhood, I'm thinking it's a goddamn good thing. Please do close them down. And lose my paperwork while you're trying to transfer them to out of town. Huh? We need to be teaching our own anyway. Like Malcolm X sat there and said straight up and down, only a fool would allow his enemy to educate his children. Only a fool. So it, it, it is the same, though. I mean, you won't keep sitting there and trusting your open enemy. You child can be beat down in the middle of the school by one of the teachers, and they're going to sit there and say, well, Teacher was just defending themselves, you know what I'm saying, and, and then arrest your child. I mean, literally, I, and um, it was an alternative school, but I've actually seen this happen. I mean, the first time I've ever had a charge was in a school. I mean, come on now. It, it is what it is, though. I mean, you, you trusting your children to the beast, and you, you don't expect the beast to behave as a beast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Come on. I mean, right, right. It, 
they, they only getting smarter with it, and it's like they using everything that's ours in order to do it. So it's like we, we done sat there and educated them, and it backfired. We educate the beast, and it backfired on us because everything that they use now as far as fractal technology in our cell phones, that's why your cell phone doesn't have this big, huge um, antenna on it anymore. That's why we have GPS. All this stuff came from us. It's like if we already done sat there and, and, and had this stuff already down, and when they learned that they're doing this with it, imagine where we were before. I mean, because it's a cycle. They said they're destroying what we've already built, and they're building their own with, with, with the bones of it. I mean, and it's like, come on, now we, we got to realize this shit. We do not need this so-called education. I mean, because it's all brain staining. That's it. Right. I mean, let's teach let's our own. That's let me, um, let me, I found the article that um, Dr. Yaffa was talking about. So let me read some of that. This is dated for June the 4th, uh, 2013. An iris scanning program with potential safety benefits had to be halted at three Florida schools. Parents were not notified of the program until after students had been scanned. Parents of students who were subjugated to um, the iris scans are furious that they were not given the option to opt out before the program began. Um, and it's a whole lot more, but that's pretty much, I want to read, I found the, the uh, article because, um, you know, I want to show that this is happening. This is happening. And so I'm with Dr. Yasa. The schools are closing down. I say good riddance, close it down, get rid of them. My only concern is, is that we'll, the parents, you know, our parents, will they step up and educate their child some kind of way? Or will they, will, will the children fall by the wayside if, they, if their parents are not going to step up and at least find some other forms of, form of way for them to be able to be educated? And that's my only concern. But other than that, I say close the school down because all they're doing is training our children to work for them any damn way. So close it down. Yeah. Um, my great uncle was assassinated for trying to get superior education for black people in the um, in the city. All right, and, and what he was doing, we, we weren't educating them ourselves. It was supposed to be a two tier plan where you sit there, you send them to the suburb school, they teach them how to be a boss, and run you know, saying, their their own companies and everything like that, and be the manager or, or the you know what I'm saying or, or the overseer or whichever you want to call it of the companies, and um, they assassinated my great uncle because he had a two-tier plan. And they sat there and reversed it and said, we're just going to have a, a, a multicolored, um, like a pink supremacy machine going on, where they're going to take the, the, the inner city kids that look like us, and they're going to make them work for the beach. Right? And that's all there is to it. And um, do your research, you probably sit there and see the same people who are running these private corporations probably invested in private prisons also. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, they, mm -hmm. that's very accurate. I mean, makes he, sense. I mean, makes um, sense. We, we, like I had said earlier, um, like I had said right. earlier, that uh, when my son was in school uh, about four years ago, the lingo that they use in these schools is equivalent to the lingo that they use in the prison system. Because I worked there, that's why I recognize it. But um, let me go ahead and grab another call, y'all, because I want to make sure I get everybody in here. Some of you have gotten tired and hung up, and please, if you stay on, I promise I'll get to you. Um, area code 213. 213, where are you yep. calling from me? Your first name, please. Area code 213. Okay. So I'll put that person back on hold. Um, we got about 20 minutes left in the show. 646-716-7572 is the number if you want to call in and join us on the round table. And uh, my sister, did she hang up yet? Let me see. I don't see her. Yeah, there she is. Sister Richardson, I was going to invite you to stay with us if you wanted to for the next 20 minutes, um, you know, and chime in whenever you feel like it. We uh, th This is oh. the hell Wednesday. And um, I don't know who's all on the table now. I, I kind of lost count, so we're going to take another call. Yeah, about I want to talk right quick. I want to okay, see this Okay, did yeah, y'all see this YouTube video? These children look like they about, I'm going to say between the age group of 10 to 13, and I could not watch more than a minute and a half, but four boys went around, and it's called homo rapping, and they like they between the ages of 10 to 13. They even got some oh, yeah. 
set the skittles yeah. on somebody and stuff like that. Oh my, it was just so gross. I could have threw up. I know I would just turn all night. I was praying and like, Lord, what? It, it, I just would have to go bust my child up in the mouth on YouTube and not for real. I just would have to do whatever. I, I did a take charge because that that was just too filthy at 10 to 13 years old. Do these parents even know about this now? Because they don't look like they're even over 12, really. I'm just giving 13 as an extra year. Yeah, they did look pretty young. They did. They look pretty young. I, w I would guess at 12 or 13, too. Yeah, we had talked about that, I think, last week. We talked about, no, it wasn't last week, a week before that. Last week was off the chain. But it was, I think the week before that, but we talked about the four boys who were um, were on, they were rapping about, ratio. <laughs> I mean, it was, um, I'm like you said, I felt sick about it because I, I'm a mother of two uh, kings myself and it just was, it was very sickening. And I can't even see the fact that their parents have not seen it because it right. has went global. It is all over the place. Uh -huh. That video is everywhere. So I can't even see nobody not, acting, you know, their parents, one of their parents or cousin they or sister or somebody. Parents. Yeah. I will be right yeah. back on YouTube with another video saying I have my child on there. I, I, you, no, I, we're going to have to explain this here, where this here come from because uh, somebody will be thinking I had some mama or auntie playing with them or, or some uncle or cousins or neighbor, somebody, because that, that, that just was too ridiculous, filthy. Oh, my goodness. But you know what? Also, <clears throat> also we have to still look at the media. I mean, these you know, young boys are watching the media. They're watching the transformation right on the screen, how now men are, you know, uh, for whatever reason, I guess they got their reason why they want to put on skirts. And, you know, they everything is just changing right before these young boys' eyes. I mean, I'm, could they been messed with? They could have. But I'm just thinking that a lot of this stuff is being in the media and our boys and our girls are kind of like attaching themselves to it. That's why we have to be careful. Um, TV was already bad, but now it is not even TV. I don't know what the hell it is. And we have to really be mindful of that and do whatever we can to get that out of our home, especially if we have young children, because they are doing everything. They're desensitizing us slowly but surely. They have been desensitizing us for years, getting us to look at this stuff and say, oh, well, you know, the little boy wants to be a girl, so he's a girl now. Oh, well, you know, if that's their child. You know, it doesn't really matter. You know, we're taking on this kind of, of approach, and I know it's a lot to do with, matter of fact, there was a, a, a young man that called in um, on this Mocha show, and I keep talking about this because when he said what he said, I was like, okay, this, you know, this is part of the problem here. But he said it out of his own mouth. It could have been, you know, it was an excuse, but nevertheless, you got to listen to the excuse and hear what he's saying. He said that the reason why he dates pink girls is because all of the people in Hollywood are doing it. The black men in Hollywood are doing it. The basketball players, the football players, he said they're doing it. And um, that's why he thinks this is what we need to do because he's watching them do it. Now, is it excuse? Yes, an excuse. But at the same time, you know, he could be feeling like that and other people can be feeling like that. So all I'm saying is the media is really playing a big role in what our young boys are thinking and feeling because now that homosexual agenda is so strong. It's like they're making it to where um, it's not taboo or anything anymore. You know, if you hear about it, remember back in the day when you seen two people walk down the street who were the same sex? You know, it was like, oh, my God. Right. Look, Mom, look, they're gay. Look, they're holding hands. Now you see it, it ain't nothing. The children don't flinch. They don't even, you know, they walk by like it ain't nothing because now they've been desensitized to it, and now it's become the norm. So I think that, like I said, I think the media has a lot to do with it. That's, that's what I think, you know. So I got rid of TV, but we're going to take some more calls. We're going to take some more calls because I see the board is lit up here. I do welcome you all, and thank you for tuning in. such a late time. It's 930. Actually, it's 946 over here in the mountains. I know some of you are, are kicking it late, so... Uh, I appreciate you all being on 415 area code, 415. Where are you calling from and your first name? Hi, my name is Karna, uh, and I'm calling from the Bay Area. Karna. Hey, we remember hey, you. you doing, 
Yo, uh, how, how you guys doing tonight? Hey, good. All right. Well, um, I was just listening to to what you guys were saying about um television.